So we're starting the day off with some hydration. Just after I already knocked out my meditation and a little gratitude, so I like to start my day off. Pull out a little line for the water, high in antioxidants and vitamin C. And of course we're sipping on spring water. So after I get my hydration, man, gotta make sure that the plants are good and hydrated. So let's check on those, get them some sunlight. pre-workout snack, Ezekiel toast with some peanut butter, crunchy peanut butter. There's only two ingredients in this peanut butter, which are roasted peanuts and salt. So try to get products that have the least amount of ingredients in them. Throw a little banana on top, some carbs for my workout, some protein in this. cinnamon on top so we have the park today getting in this workout haven't done muscle ups in a minute so want to see how many I can get in Try to hit you with the one arm pull up. It's been a minute since I've been out here playing. I definitely got to get outside more often with these workouts. Shout out to the homie uh, Brandon. We always do our pull up competition whenever we see each other. So the next one coming up in Peru, Warrior Retreat. Let's get it. Yo, so just came to the park. I was going to do an outside workout today, but as you can see, well, maybe you can't see, but the rain started coming down so got a few sets in but it's definitely not a full workout so we're gonna take it to the gym and finish this workout let's get this money no excuses out here working out the biceps the little triceps on them mm, gotta make sure you hit the obliques get the abs in keep yourself a calendar coming soon Ab roll out, and we back to the crib. Gonna use one medjool date, one frozen banana, some oat milk, protein, sea moss, some creatine, a little maca powder, and some greens, which is spinach today. Throw about five ice cubes in that joint, we good to go. Slap that on like that, boom, blend it up. So just jumped out the shower, feeling good, got my workout in for the day. Was planning on actually doing a full workout at the park today and just hit like 
calisthenics and bar work, but it started raining, so I had to protect the camera and take the workout into the gym. So now I'm back at the crib, about to jump into some oatmeal, and I'll show you how I do my oatmeal. Let's get it. So we're using one full banana, one with jewel date. Make sure you take out the pit. A little bit of oat milk. You can also use any other type of uh, milk alternative or even water. This is gonna be your base, and because of the medjool date, you won't really need any sweeteners afterwards. If you wanna use something, you can go with some agave. A little bit of oats. Stir that joint up. We're about to be good to go. I'll put some cinnamon in there as well. Blueberries, full of antioxidants, pumpkin seeds, protein, got your walnuts, omega-3s, healthy fats, and throw a little bit of milk on top of that and we good. A little midday snack, got the fresh watermelon popping. Yo, what's, what's better than some ice cold watermelon though? This used to be my favorite fruit right here, but I think mango might have the number one, maybe number two spot. Golden kiwis might have number one. It's a, it's a battle right now. Thankfully, I live up the street from a farmer's market, so you know, I can go get fresh fruit and vegetables pretty often uh, without a hassle and definitely try to eat fruit that still has the seeds in it. Raining outside, it's a good day to throw on an album. Today we're going with none other than Stevie Wonder, Songs in the Key of Life. Great album, if you haven't heard it, you need to tap in. A lot of hip hop records sampled this album right here. But of course we ain't got that uh, money to be paying Stevie for these royalties, so we gonna play a little something something in the background. <laughs> so I actually got caught up at work after this and didn't eat lunch, so we gonna skip right ahead to dinner after this. All right, so now it's time to jump into some dinner. Now, this next recipe is not mine. I'm not a chef by any means, but give me to like season three, season four, and then I might throw on the chef hat. But I'm gonna be using Rachel Ama's China Masala recipe. You can actually follow her YouTube page. She has a ton of great like vegan recipes, and that's what we're gonna jump in today. So let's get it. Boom, so we go with the green onions, some ginger. And then we got the red onion. So that's gonna be your base. Throw it in the blender. This blender did not do the job that it should have did. So I actually took it out of here, threw it in the Vitamix, didn't do the job. I think you need either a food processor or like a ninja to really blitz this. See, I was trying to shake it up, it didn't work, but boom, you get it in the pot, a little bit of oil. Throw your spices in there, turmeric, smoked paprika, allspice, some curry. Mix all that together. Throw in your chickpeas, some coconut milk, tomatoes. Should have had uh, diced tomatoes, but they didn't have those at the store. And then let that simmer. I'm gonna toss that with some plantains that I had from last night, and we good to go. What I eat in the day, let's get it. <laughs> 